in this video I'm going to show you how to use an enum type okay so what is enum okay enum is pretty much as when you want to create a new data type okay then you like to use enum like beside in double float and so on sometimes you want to create like days of week Monday Tuesday Wednesday right and so on or month January February March April right of the year now let's see some example Enum So let's see if I want to type E num and then say account type. So we have three account type administrator and we have staff we have user The problem with this is you don't give the code because it's not a string. We try to give the values to this type and we call the type as account, right? So we have administrator account, staff, and user. No quotations. So we have different types. Alright, now come to how do we create the input from the user? We said we're going to use the option pane. But this time your J option pane is different. J option pane does show input dialog. Normally you just do the message right away, right? If you look at I want the user to be able to select the options on the option pane. Okay, so I'm going to use first parameter is no refer to the parent, and the second one is going to be the message that you want to say to user. Say like your account type, and the third one is going to be. Let's hover your mouse over your show. So first, second, third is it could be initial selection value. Now I didn't I didn't show you how to use an array yet, but on a sample code here, it's pretty much going to tell you how the code work. Then I'm going to type it out. So I want to have a group of data. So a group of data, I'm going to declare an array, which you see an array, this is an array. Array is just a data type with the same same type and you make a group of that. So in this case I want an array of string. Okay. String. But let's see if I can I'm going to just show a simple one first. String and choices. Which is the code that you may see on the handout, right, for the assignment. Now I'm going to type it out here. Admin, right, and student. So we have student. And staff.
So, this is an array. Array pretty much has like a regular variable that you usually know. Index, like if you like string name or index, but you just put a brackets and then you just provide multiple values to it. Separate by comma and put a curly braces. Now, the reason I want to create an array is because I want to create the input dialog as the drop down box that you can see the group of the choices here. Now, come back to the input dialog. Okay, so I'm going to say the third parameters, I'm going to change the title of the dialog. Okay, like account type. That can be a title of the dialog. Title on top of this title. You can change the title. So now you can also change an image, an icon on that a dialog by using the option pane dot. Okay, and I can say question message icon is going to show you the questions mark as an icon or the image on the dialog box. You can change to any other images too. No. So this is pretty much another part that we have the choices passing in, which is your array here that you pass in. And the last one is the default that you wanted to select. Like now an, an array start from zero. We always count 0, 1, 2. Those are index of each values. So if I wanted to by default select staff, I just do 2 at the end in the brackets. So that's how you refer to the values of an array. Right? Because this is an array, you need to say brackets and put the number index location. Alright, so if you hover the mouse over your show input dialog, it's going to pretty much show you the component of each. Let me go over this again. Like the first part is the parent components. That means when you have dialog pop up, what is your parent window? Like in this case, it's no, we don't have one yet. The second one is the the message to the user. Select your account type. The third is the title. Account type is going to have title change for the dialog itself. And the fourth is the icon. I use the question message type. It's going to be question mark. Okay. And the selection values, which is choices and the array there, actually seem like no, it's not necessary because we can just use that one. Let's see what happens. Component object. String int icon and array. Seem like I need to provide. I try to see which one that is referring to. No string string right. No is that one, and string and string and int. So like if I'm providing this, it would not like it because I say it's only have component object string int only four so that mean that one is not the one that I want okay and you learn from next section what I mean here but at this point just bear with me and try to, to type this code to have your J option pane show the input dialog as the option you select like if you want to get into details it's actually coming from Java doc. So you can look at the option pane like Java API or Java doc here. And you will see that there's an option for you can read this, it's telling you there are different type of icons. You see that error message information question message. But what I'm looking for is the the methods. The method that I try to use is show input dialog, which is here. So this is the one that I try to use here. Right, I say no. 
the method to use the title and the message type icon selection values and array initial selection values all right so but we have an external here choices is an array but it works if you run this it's gonna work you see the dialog box show up see that and the default selection is staff okay now right let's let's look at the show input dialog into details so this is the java doc for the show input dialog so this is the version of show input dialog that we use there are several versions of that this is the version that we have seven parameters passing well you can count one two three four five six seven which is matching to the new is the parent components and the message right to the users like your account type and then the title account type message type question message now we didn't put any icon onto this so we just put no you can add an image icon too and this is the list that you want and array list choices and selection values default we say staff so let's run this there you go so we get a account type select your account type and question message icon right like if I change to for example if I change this to information message and do share the default to I'm gonna add another one as three index zero one two and three is here guess so let's run this you see the icon should be changed to information and guess has been selected as default and the list come to four all right so now I explain how to use the option pane so we talk about enum so enum I can add more types so we said we're going to let the user select at that point we prompt the user select and the select has been done it's always return a string if you check your java doc again string is the type that's going to return you see that right the one that we use actually this one right so that is going to an object okay so because we may have different objects so that means this part you can modify it to let's see if I can do account type right and instead of this I can also use since we gonna use enum that's why I try to explain the enum way now okay which we gonna do account type dot then I have administrator as the first option see that I can do the rest too with student right account type dot get student and the same account type so let me try to copy and paste now dot staff and last one account type dot guess all right so we have an array of account type instead of string now this could be an account type which is it's going to when you just select it's going to return right account type as the type of like select select okay and this return as object then you have to cast it back to account type right the same way that we learn how to cast and then you can test this is how you use enum and it works the same all right so now that's how you use enum and you can modify this to include switch cast and do anything else all right thank you for watching then